to the show, and I'm your host, M.K.XPEXT. And it's Friday, and you know what that means. Drew Infinite on the beach. And do we come whack? Hell no. You got there right. Uh. While I get in tune, let's hear something from UKY. Y'all ready? Introducer. UK Wally. Y'all ready? Here you come. Oh my God, this is UK Wally. All you do, I just go off from the factory warehouse. You know, this little fruit booty ass goddamn thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. We started early with the, uh... <laughs> we started early. Oh. Shit, damn. We talking about Fruity Pebbles already. We ain't even had breakfast and shit. Well, what is... Let's see. Now he's flamboyantly fruit booty, if you know what I mean. You know, he trying to take shots at UK Wally. Like, UK Wally, you don't have a beard. Why you don't have a beard? Because, nigga, I do what I want to do, nigga. Like, you want... You... Wait, 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 wait. So, um, the Decepticon in Autobot 4, right, was trying to say something negative. So you got to watch that because that negative turns into positive and then, you know, Basically, what I'm saying is sometimes us men, we don't know when we attractive to other men. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go ahead, Brother Wally. You want to be fruit boot. I can't say that because if I said to him, that's sexual. Uh, brother, you just said it, though. So I, I, we we going to say it together. I think we can say it together. It ain't offensive. He said, fruit booty. I would say Skittles. You know, because you know Skittles is what? Colors of the rainbow. Get your ass over here. Welcome to this ignorance. Go ahead. Harassment, or that's uh, what you call it, uh, discrimination or whatever. So, you know, I tell him, you know, you do what you do, and what you do is what you do. What I do is different what you do, because, nigga, you like dicks up your ass, nigga, so what the fuck, nigga? That's what I really want to say, nigga. God damn. Yeah. Yep, we got to suppress that. I'll suppress that. Uh, I'm, I'm a team pussy. You a team ding a lane. Uh Facts. Let's give a shout out to the team. <laughs> Newsflash. Whoa, it's an outbreak over there in Texas and South Carolina as well. Damn, but that, you know, that mighty mouse shit. Brothers, we might have to still wear the raincoats. Uh, fruit booty ass nigga, but you always want to try to start some shit with UK Wally. And UK Wally just get. He think UK Wally handsome. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, UK Wally handsome, man. I hate that shit too, man. I don't like no nigga looking at me like that, man. I bet. Uh, I don't like that nigga shit. Yeah. Yep. Keep that shit to yourself. 
tired of it. I, I try to take it in, take it in. And I start clapping back. I said, shit. I said, I know gang. I got gang members at Pyru and goddamn Bloods and Crips. They're going to say, better leave me the fuck alone. They're going to be clapping back at you. Oh, you going to try to threat me. You know what I mean, nigga? You want to play games, nigga? You want to play, nigga? I can play too, nigga. I better help UK Wally out, though. Right? And it's real easy. Hey, in these situations, all you gotta do is just shut the fuck up and just look stupid. Just look stupid. I know it's hard and it's difficult. All you gotta do is zip your lip. Zip your lip. Because he fell into the trap. The workplace trap. Right? You got the right to shut up. Just like when the police pull your ass over, you got the right to shut the... You got the right to be silent. Silence is very important. You know why silence is very important? When it comes down to time where you have a talk with HR, right? They ain't gonna have nothing to write down because guess what? You was like a Venice Beach mime, nigga. You was silent like a motherfucker. You was silent night. Ain't gonna give you nothing to write down. Shit, I'm gonna get a check. I'm trying to see. Gotta be a cause of liability that your ass done fucked up. See, see, don't, don't fall. You gotta practice the art of silence, brother Wiley, right? Especially those folks, right? Because you know definitely, nigga, they're going to go to HR and tell on you. It's going to be exquisite, nigga. They're going to write a declaration of independence on your ass. But I guess UK Wally is going through it. Shout out to him, though. Oh, 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 let's uh, pause for the cause. Let's give a round of applause to our new subscriber, Miss Dick Greedy. Miss Dick Greedy. Miss Dick Greedy. Proves my point all the time. But guess what? I'm, I, I, but, uh, listen, look, I ain't going to let nobody know. Know that I know what you know. I ain't going to let nobody know. But thank you for subscribing. And make sure you tell your friends too. All right, man. Nigga Breezer, stop laughing. Stop laughing, nigga. Crank this soldier boy up. Uh, my mood changed because I was checking out Kirk Franklin's. Oh man, dear mama, dear mama. I didn't know he was adopted. Right. That 30 minutes, boy, it really showed his life. And it shows when you grow up wanting to know where you come from, who you are, your lineage. He wanted to know his father. And, man, <sighs> nigga, was that my motherfucking goddamn stomach growling? My stomach said, hey, nigga, stop this damn podcast. Get your ass in there. Cook you some egg, bacon, and grits. And some fucking toast. Let's get back to Kirk Franklin. Let's check it out. All he wanted to know, his father, right? And through that pain and a gift, you will make it. And you trust me, you know, it's like, when you're trying to fill that void, you get real passionate about your stuff, right? Look at that goddamn coffee up here, nigga. We're going to have to sip some more of this shit. Get it down in that shit. What's the real thing? for his father he thought it one dude was his father on that dude deathbed this is cold blooded this is like blood on his hands right but not on his hands but it's something 
listen to me. He thought that was his father. And on the deathbed, the dude said some cold shit that probably got him through up out of heaven and shit, right? I'm gonna try to tell you. <laughs> the dude on his deathbed should have said this. Look, look, Kurt, I'm not your father, your motherfucking mama liar. <laughs> That's what he should have did. Then he got cast out. He got cast out, man. He told Kurt Franklin some simple but hurtful shit. Like, better yet, it was more like, oh, okay, well, nigga, I was your father. Well, fuck it, nigga. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up, right? Who's the culprit? Mom Duke, man. Mom Duke. Mom Duke knew. And he got to hit the thing. Here's the kicker, right? Here's the kicker. Y'all ready? I fuck with the science. I fuck with the numbers. You know, I fuck with the numbers, like statistics. Like, you know, a lot of the ladies are like, they think they make more money than men, and they, they don't. They make 41000 and shit. Men, men make a... Like this is the average niggas, 47,000. And the reference is black demographics and shit. I'll just go ahead and you go check it out. Check it out for yourself. All right? All right, simple science, simple science, right? He said, dude already done swabbed his stuff. The, the real father already swabbed his stuff. He said, okay, I'm going to go take this test. And when that... That lady, that lady was like, I ain't gonna fuck around with you. We're gonna do it expeditiously. So she turned, she turned it, she went Korean. She turned into Korean. She said, Uh, uh, you, you, father, son, papa, son, it's 999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
when a nigga allegedly, I, I don't know, a dude said it came out. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this shit. But uh, let's say allegedly clocked her upside the head with a brick, with a Mario brick. She from the bricks. From the, from the brick. Protects her. <laughs> man, comedy hype let me down, man. The sisters was like, oh, he was so hurt. Man. Bam, 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 bam. You know that shit come in. Well, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a that's. Ugh, I love it. I, I love black people when we put that hip hop twist to our information. It conveys so well. But the sisters, the sisters, like they, they, they felt like they was in danger and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the truth is, them sisters would get some protection. A nigga would be like, step up in there, like, hey, chill the fuck out, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? You know, we'll use some superpowers, some super Negro powers, right? But we were just talking about the garbage, nigga. The garbage that got her nose up and shit. Dirty bra bitch. Like, got her nose up and shit. Like, niggas ain't shit. And I, I know the treatment. Look, I know the treatment. I ain't talking about just regular bras. Man, me and the work homie swerved up on some uh, basketball wise. Man, them bitches looked at us like we was invisible, nigga. Invisible, Fantastic Four, <laughs> Invisible. But guess what? It's some tra la 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 uh-uh-uh, you want me to defend you right now? Well, you know, I want some hands, some pussy. I want you to cook tonight, too. Better hurry up. You pulling a gun out. You want me to do my superpowers? No, 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 what? No, no, I don't want no vagina. I want a head and booty hole and a facial. And a facial right there. Better hurry up. He's pulling the weapon out. You want me to get out here and throw on my goddamn cape and show you I'm great and shit, right? Right? Like, like hurry up. You up here negotiate with this bitch in seconds. She so said, fuck it, this shit. Okay, you're like, deal. You're transforming into the super Negro. And go fight some other crime. Mm, mm, mm. Sisterhood was like, damn. Trying to call the insurance people and shit. They had to tell you, sisterhood, brr, uh, your insurance policy has labs now. Are you going to make a coochie deposit? You know what I'm saying? Cause, because it's going into collections. That letter from Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels gave you a letter. Yeah, ma'am. Put you in. <laughs> All right. You know who's somebody that really just like goes in and don't give a fuck, right? That nigga Corey Holcomb. Let's give him a shout out. God damn. That nigga don't give a fuck. I like Corey's style. I like I like that style of comedy because I don't even call it comedy. That's just straight up that stem. That's the real shit. If you came to the front row, nigga, and didn't think that Corey Holcomb wasn't going to fuck your relationship up by the end of the night, you are dead wrong. You are dead wrong. You better get you some back seats. You better get you some back seats, nigga. For real. <laughs> That nigga will make your ass famous. You be straight talking back to see. Be like, oh, look at what we got here. Look at these motherfuckers. What's your name? F force you to talk. Force you to talk on camera. What's your name? You know, it's a setup. It's a setup. I'll do the same shit. If I wanted to target a motherfucker, I, you got, you going to communicate with me in my house or you going to do a Paul Mooney. You going to walk the fuck out and then I'm really going to talk shit. So we, we got to play the game. How you doing? Hey, what, what's your name, man? That's your lady? That's how it starts off. That's your lady? Oh, man. Don't let her be a big, her big, 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 big girl, man. It's going to be some jokes and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you... If you <laughs> hey, some be like, fuck it, nigga. We going to this goddamn show and shit. Going to this show. I don't know, man. I do rap. But I'm a funny dude. But I, rap is my thing. Music is my thing. Making beats my thing. Uh, making video of all si all, all sorts 
of as a collective network is, is my thing. But you know, shit. Nigga, I'm broke right now, nigga. You pay me like 20 stacks, hell yeah. I get up on stage, nigga. I'm gonna make these motherfuckers laugh, nigga. See, I'm gonna make them laugh and I'm gonna get booed tonight. Fuck it. <laughs> hey. It's like knocking down an ugly big girl. You're like, damn, nigga. Fuck it, nigga. Get on the work gloves and the motherfucking carpenter knee pads and shit, nigga. It's like. We'll have to put in this motherfucking work tonight and shit. Fuck. Do it for the team. <laughs> nigga, nigga, I see this one dude. It's this one chick, man. I tell you, I'm going to just call her Audacity, man. She be having the audacity. The audacity to even speak. Right. Listen to me. It's a lot. It is a lot more more than enough, but it's a lot of ugly bitches. No. Man, that be talking shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all, y'all know that dude that be on TikTok. He be having a little music in the background. Be like, boop, boop, do, boop, 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 do, do, do. he was like disgusting. <laughs> Right, that dude had me rolling, man. He said, "Man, if audacity was a word, nigga." <laughs> God damn, got hell yeah, man. It's like hell, man. The audacity, like, if that was a nigga like that with no money. Cause a woman, she be like, she'll take, she'll snatch you up. You ugly as a motherfucker. You got some marrow problems, but nigga, you rich, nigga. Oh, nigga, that bitch get out there, she'll die for you. <laughs> tell me what you gonna tell me. I would ride for you. Yeah. She getting dick. She getting a salary, nigga, and a pension off of you, nigga. I would die for you. Fight all other bitches. Put the hey. This, this is the young gun. This is the young gun. This is y'all get me, man. Right for real. I know I'm old. I don't give a fuck. Listen to this. Is what gets me with the young guns, nigga? These bitches putting tracker device on your car and shit. <laughs> God damn, sneaky bitch. Sneaky bitch. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Them bitches trying to ensure the bag and ain't got to put shit in, nigga. With with Aqua saying that shit, she put the tracker device, man. Man, once, once, look, once you get caught up like that, you put the tracking device on me, that sets the tone and shit like that. I would just break up with your motherfucking ass. It's just, just, you know, just straight up cut off, refuse to, uh, you know, give you service. Just cut all that shit off. Just cut all that shit off. But if you want to play the game and shit, like, doing the others is it doing to you. She put the tracking device on me. I put it in your purse, your shoes and shit like that. All that shit. 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 Oh, we gonna camera up. We gonna catch shit. Be in your car looking at you and shit. I'm looking at you. Yeah. Then when you find out the length that a nigga done went through and shit, cause I outsmarted your motherfucking ass. Then you gonna call me that nigga crazy. That's what you gonna say, bitch. No. No, you shouldn't be playing these damn shitty ass games, man. What happened to trust, man? God damn. Nigga, y'all niggas got that Hellcat, nigga. She is bugging the Hellcat, nigga, right? Nigga, she thinks she, she that damn smart. Like the FBI, nigga, to know where you going, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but ladies, let me tell you something. They ain't gonna stop a nigga. They ain't gonna stop a nigga. Right? They ain't gonna, ooh, like, ooh, yeah, this nigga had work. That's what you think, nigga. That car had work, but he ain't. I got his phone. I know his phone. His phone beeping. He ain't going to go see no other bitches. Yeah, that phone is right there. That phone is right there. That phone is right there. See, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid, bitch. I'm trying to let you know. Don't be stupid. You should. Yeah, you, you being stupid. You being stupid. Like, yeah, I got it. Hey, you being stupid. You being stupid. They watching you and shit because they know you watching him and shit, nigga. She's like, I know you. This, we are smart this bitch. You know she going to call. 
That make it easier for your nigga when you ladies stop doing that. It make it easier for your nigga. Right? The nigga be like, hey, I can't, I can't, hey, I can't do all this. If you really want it, we just gonna have to fuck in your car. You ain't gotta lie, say it's on the charger. It's right there. It's right there. For real. <laughs> so y'all niggas is cool. She'll call you just to see what your ass doing. What are you doing? You up here huffing and puffing for fucking. You be like, huh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm at work. I'm just moving these goddamn boxes. Moving these boxes. Boy, they some heavy boxes. Heavy, bro. Heavy. And you know, some of you niggas is so damn cruel. Cool. We be out there talking to your bitch. Slow stroke the new bitch and shit. You slow stroke. You got your other hand on that bitch goddamn mouth. She enjoying all that shit. He was like, better shut up, bitch. Don't you moan. Don't you moan. Just take this dick. Yeah, baby, shit. Oh, I'm shit. I'm just up here with Bernard and shit, man. We have been moving these boxes and shit, man. Gotta stuff, gotta stuff these boxes. Man. Yeah, you know, I got this long piece. I'm just trying to stick it up in these damn things right here, you know. In these boxes. Move these boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> That'll fuck up your interruption of your, your sex session because both of y'all will start fucking laughing. <laughs> Cold blooded, real shit, though. Anyway. I got to go, man. Thank you for tuning in. Fuck the show.